Many a times it is essential to downregulate gene expression to determine role of a particular gene or for therapeutic use. One of the popular technologies to achieve this is antisense RNA technology. Hello and welcome back to Explore Bio. In today's video you will learn what antisense RNA technology is, how it works and what are its applications. Normally a gene is expressed and may translate to a functional protein. At times when expression of a particular protein is not desirable, you have several ways to inhibit its expression and antisense RNA technology is one of them. Antisense RNA technology uses a small single stranded RNA molecule which are a few tens to thousands of bases long complementary to mRNA of a particular gene whose expression needs to be downregulated. It is named antisense RNA because it is complementary to the mRNA which is commonly called as sense strand that codes for protein. The antisense RNA molecule is artificially introduced into the cells and it specifically binds to the target mRNA based on sequence complementarity in the cytoplasm of the cell and it results in downregulation of gene by one of these two mechanisms. The formation of mRNA and antisense RNA may prevent ribosome binding and thus stops translation process for protein synthesis or the duplex may undergo digestion by RNA's H which also prevents protein synthesis. But there are several challenges with this technology. First, sufficient amount of antisense oligonucleotides must be administered to the vicinity of the target cells and more importantly, it must be taken up by the cells. This challenge can be overcome by using lipid complexes. Second, the antisense RNA should ideally have a long half-life within the cell to successfully impair mRNA translation into protein over a significant period of time. This is usually done by chemically modifying the oligonucleotides of antisense RNA. Finally, the oligonucleotides must be non-toxic and should be highly specific so as not to interfere with the other cellular functions. Coming on to the applications of antisense RNA technology, there are basically two major applications of antisense RNA technology. It is a useful approach in research to understand the role of a particular gene by downregulating it. For example, to check if gene X is responsible for fruit ripening, its antisense RNA is administered to the plant. The antisense RNA will form a duplex with mRNA of gene X. If this results in delayed fruit ripening, then it shows gene X is involved in ripening process. A well-known example of this is flavor saver tomato in which polygalactouranase gene was downregulated using antisense RNA. Antisense RNA can be used as a therapeutic tool to treat various diseases in humans including cancer, viral infections, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. To sum up, antisense RNA technology is a powerful way to downregulate a specific gene by inhibiting protein synthesis or mRNA degradation. This makes it a useful tool to understand gene function, alter characters and treat various diseases. If you like the information, do check out my other interesting videos on techniques, markers, diseases, research and publishing, AI tools, plant issue culture, genetics, nutrition and health and lot more. Comment below for your queries and requests. Thanks and stay connected for more such interesting videos.